Hey guys, Ivan here, and I'm sure at this point you all heard the fortunate news. Chris Bumstead is finally, finally, after so many years of us waiting for this to happen, finally he's doing the Open Division at the Prague Pro this year. And in this video, we're gonna talk about a couple of very interesting things. And the main one is gonna be whether he can win the freaking Prague Pro against a top four Olympian, Martin Fitzwater. Alright guys, so the main point of this video is gonna be Martin Fitzwater versus Chris Bumstead comparison, but there will also be a bunch of other really good bodybuilders, for example Sean Clarida, a former 212 Mr. Olympia, who also posted a couple of shots from 10 days before the Mr. Olympia, and here of course he was a lot fuller than he was on the stage, but even here in these photos you can see that he did lose muscle in this prep, it wasn't that he was only flat on the stage, he actually melted a little bit. He was obviously holding a lot of water here and once he dehydrated you could see the flatness, but uh, in, in those 4 or 5 weeks between the Mr. Olympia and Prague Pro, I'm sure he will bring up a little bit of his uh, size and fullness, and if he does a better job with his peak week as well, I don't know who's gonna coach him for this show, he's probably gonna do it himself, he's gonna be better, but can he beat Chris Bumstead? I really don't know, I mean, Sean Clarita is a bodybuilder, he's not a classic guy, he is big for his frame, he is very short, but still, he won a pro show in open before, so that's gonna be interesting to see as well. Now, I don't know where this page got this information, I don't remember Chris saying this in his YouTube video, but here they're quoting him that he said, I competed in the Mr. Olympia 2024 with 242 pounds, the idea is to go out in the Prague Pro with about 250-255 pounds. Now, I don't know where he said this, but you know, yeah, I can see that, I mean, I know that he was, that his weight cap is around 240, but I thought he was probably a little bit bigger on stage, apparently based on this he wasn't that much heavier on stage, only like 2 pounds heavier, and he plans on being almost 15 pounds heavier uh, at the Prague Pro stage, which I think is very realistic, he can probably go up to 20 pounds heavier, maybe, we'll see, but he's going to be bigger and fuller for sure. Now only one week before the Prague Pro, we have Romania Pro, Horse MD is one of the guys who are doing the Romania Pro, and Horse MD already announced that he's gonna do the Prague Pro as well. Of course, of course, why wouldn't he do it? He's already in Europe, there's only one week difference between these two shows, why not jump in and use this opportunity, an opportunity of a lifetime really, so of course he's going to jump in as well. And this is gonna be an amazing comparison, because a couple of years ago when he was prepping for Classic Physique, there was like a lot of talk, a lot of comparison between these two guys, like can Horse MD someday beat Chris Bumstead, because he also has amazing structure, at least he had it when he was smaller, now his waist kind of blew out a little bit, so, you know, I don't know what's gonna happen in the open, I, I think Chris is going to beat Horse MD. Rafael Brandau is also doing Romania Pro, he still didn't announce, that he's gonna do Prague Pro as well, but I'm sure he will, of course he will, he has to use this opportunity, and that's gonna be a very interesting comparison, as soon as he announces that guys, I'm gonna make a video about that, that's a very interesting comparison, because these two guys have very similar structures, very similar physiques, of course Rafael is a little bit bigger, and Chris is a little bit more aesthetic, so this is gonna be an amazing comparison, but Rafael didn't announce it yet, maybe he won't do it for some reason, but I'm pretty sure he's gonna do it as well. Then there is of course Akim Williams, who is doing the Romania, and uh, here is his most recent physique update, a monster, a freak, top 10 Olympian in the Open, uh, placed as high as 6th, so Akim is going to be a monster, man, it's gonna be very difficult for Chris to go against these monsters here, maybe he's gonna place, I don't know, as low as, as I don't know, 10th? He is going into this show without any expectations, and that's what makes this so amazing, so exciting, because we have no idea what's gonna happen, you know? We have to wait and see what a bigger Chris Bumstead looks like compared when he stands next to the other open guys, but if we are talking about whether he can win the show, he needs to go through Martin Fitzwater. Now, there is also one more very interesting thing, and that's Chris saying that if he wins the show, he might do the Mr. Olympia Open next year, 
he kind of said it jokingly, but then he was like, I'm serious, I'm not serious, I'm joking, am I joking? You know, he, he wasn't sure about that. Is he gonna do it? I really don't think so. I really doubt it. Because he also said many times this is his last opportunity to do something like this. He thought about it last year and the year before and he wanted to do it. But this is, as he says, his last opportunity to do it because I don't think he's gonna prep again. However, guys, Chris Bumstead is a bodybuilder. All the bodybuilders are kind of messed up in the head. Chris Bumstead is probably the guy that is hiding it the best, better than all of us. But none of us, guys, we are all messed up in some way. So if he wins this, who knows what he's going to feel like. You know, maybe he goes crazy and he decides to go all out and see how well he does in the open. So I think that's still a possibility. I'm not saying it's going to happen. It's most likely not going to happen. But there is still a chance. Now, let's talk about whether he can actually win. Once again, if he wants to win, he needs to beat the top guy at this show, Martin Fitzwater. So let's do this comparison just for fun. Let's see what these guys actually look like one next to another. Now, we're taking photos from the Mr. Olympia this year. Of course, Chris is going to be bigger and fuller. We don't know what Martin is going to bring, but I think he was like at 100% peak for the Mr. Olympia. I don't see him getting any better. If he is lucky, he's going to look the same, but Chris is going to look better. And I hope I got the ratio of these two guys right. I don't know if I did, but I tried my best. So let's take a look. Let's start with the front double bicep. Who wins this pose? Well, I have to say it's actually surprisingly close. If they were looking exactly like this on the stage, Martin will win it. I mean, come on. Bigger arms, bigger, thicker legs. As far as like the waist and, and waist to shoulder ratio, the, the V taper, it's actually quite close. I mean, Martin also has a pretty good V taper. And his legs are probably popping out even more. They're thicker. He has bigger adductors, overall fullness. But Chris also has an amazing structure. However, his front double bicep, you know, because of his arms, especially in the open, you know, I don't see him winning this pose against Martin, even if he comes a lot bigger. So I give this pose to Martin for sure. Now let's go with the front lat spread. Even though it's it's also from the front, and you can see basically similar things like the leg size, the V taper. I think it's pretty safe to assume that Martin would win this one, but then again, if you take a look at uh, Chris's lat pop and the overall structure and the way this pose flows for him, you know, it's actually a lot closer. But why are we looking at this uh, comparison right here when Chris just posted a, a blown up version of himself in the rebound? Let's take a look at that one. All right, all right, a lot different, a lot different. Actually, in this pose, Chris's arms are looking bigger than Martin's. I don't know how he's doing it. I guess his lats are popping out so much that they're actually pushing the arms, making them look bigger. He has crazy width in the shoulders. And now with more fullness, especially through the legs. I don't know, man. This pose honestly looks better on Chris right here. I mean, of course, this is a photo from the gym. It's not on the stage. He's probably, you know, hiding some of his weaknesses, making a, this lighting is making him look bigger and better. But I don't know. This is looking really freaking impressive. Honestly, I like Chris here way more. Yeah, smaller, but with that structure, with that frame. Whew, let's give this one to Chris. Let's say Chris with 15 or 20 pounds more beats Martin in front lat spread. Let's move on out to the next front pose. It's abs and thighs. However, I couldn't find a good photo of Chris uh, from this year hitting the abs and thighs because he does it very briefly and then he hits the vacuum pose and his vacuum pose is amazing but it's not abs and thighs and Chris's abs and thighs is not exactly amazing because his abs are very shallow and this photo is from last year or two years ago but again Chris with uh, 15 pounds more when he hits this pose and then does a vacuum it can look very impressive right here what we're seeing right here Martin wins Let's go over this one very briefly, because this is also not Chris from uh, this year. He didn't do the side tricep this year. And I honestly hope he's going to do it a little bit better, because here, I don't think he's really showing his, his body the best way possible with this variation of the side tricep. So Martin, I mean, he also doesn't look that great in this pose, at least in this shot right here. He's really not showing his uh, details in the legs, uh, nor are his hamstrings dropping down. Uh, his lower abdomen is kind of bloated a little bit. And like the separation, the chest, I mean, here, what I'm seeing right here, Chris actually looks better. 
I don't know if it's a fair comparison, but what I'm seeing right here, I'll give it to Chris actually. Now let's go with the side chest. And of course, we are not gonna use Chris Bumstead on the Mr. Olympia Classic Physique stage. Why would we when we got this blown out photo of Chris now without a weight cap that he's doing a rebound, still in great shape, just bigger and fuller. And as per Tyler Mannion, side chest is Chris's best pose. So in this one, with his crazy details everywhere, basically, throughout the shoulders, arms, chest, man, his chest is crazy detailed and crazy big, massive and wide, with his lower body details as well, and I have to say it every time, with 15 pounds more, or even more, maybe 20 pounds more, man, his side chest is going to be crazy, it's gonna be very difficult for anybody to beat him in the side chest pose, and I don't know if Martin can do it, I mean, Martin is, is amazing, but like, he's gonna take a lot less space on that stage, and I don't know how conditioned he will be, but I don't think he's going to be as detailed as Chris, even if Chris is bigger and fuller. I think Chris is gonna have just so much wow factor in the side chest, so I'll give him this pose, actually. Now, as for the back lat spread, we don't have a proper back lat spread of Chris Bumstead, even though he is very much lat dominant, and I'm sure you guys noticed that his, all of his back workouts are focused on his upper back. If you didn't realize that, then stop copying Chris's uh, back workouts. They're all very upper back focused, unless you have the same flaw, which is a very rare flaw. Most of you just don't have the lats, which is like 70% of the back, so you should just do different workouts, not what Chris is doing. So once again, even though he does have very dominant lats, he never really does the back lat spread. This is the only thing that you can find this, uh, this moment before he hits the back uh, double bicep. So I found this uh, backstage photo of him, um, you know, it's really hard to compare, it's really, it doesn't really make sense. But I do remember seeing Chris in the back last spread back when he was, uh, when he was competing in the Open, when he was a lot younger, a lot smaller. I'm not gonna show that to you guys here, because it's not the Chris you're gonna see uh, this year at the Prague Pro stage, but it didn't look that great. Even though his lats are dominant, his back lat spread doesn't look very good. And Martin is going to kill him in this one. Not just with the back itself, but like also with the uh, lower body thickness and conditioning in the glutes and hamstrings with more size. So back lat spread, I'm sure Martin is going to win this one. What about uh, back double bicep? It's not even close. This one is not going to be even close. Chris's back is not his strongest point, he learned how to pose better uh, in the last couple of years and he makes it uh, look much better than before, but still, I mean, next to an open bodybuilder, you will see the, the difference in, in, in size and thickness in the back, so in the back, double bicep, you know, the size in the shoulders, the arms, uh, and the back itself, and then the lower body as well, yeah, it's gonna be a huge difference, so no chance Chris can win this one against Martin. The last pose we got is the most muscular pose, and uh, Chris actually looks very good in the most muscular, even though it's not a mandatory pose in classic physique, he always hits it, he has crazy amount of details throughout the legs, throughout the chest, the shoulders, arms, everything is looking amazing, but, but, size difference, size difference is going to be huge in this one, and this is one of very good shots of Martin Fitzwater, you know, his arms are looking massive here, chest is just super separated and super full, blasting, popping out of the screen, his legs are also very big, very round, Martin is going to destroy Chris in the most muscular, I'm pretty sure about that, even though Chris is taller and with those 15 to 20 pounds more, he might look comparable, but he is not gonna beat Martin in this one. Overall, guys, no, I have to say, I don't see Chris beating Martin Fitzwater, I think he's going to challenge him, I think he's gonna maybe beat him in some shots, but overall, I don't think they're gonna give Chris uh, the win here, maybe they give it to Chris if Martin is off, and due to the fact that Chris might do the Open Olympia next year, which would make the Olympia so much better. Imagine how much would that boost the sales. So there is the business aspect as well. Maybe if it is close, they might give it to Chris, but I don't think that's gonna happen. Let's be realistic, guys. However, you never know. Once again, 15 pounds bigger Chris Bumstead on the actual stage next to these guys, with his height, with his structure and frame, 
You never know. Anything is possible. You guys tell me what do you think, but be realistic. Don't just tell me Chris is going to win this because you want to see him win. Tell me what do you actually think. I would also love to see Chris win this, but uh, I don't know. I wouldn't bet on him, to be honest. But I don't know. Once again, maybe. It's not impossible. Once again, guys, comment down below. Like this video if you enjoyed it. For more stuff like this, guys, please subscribe to this channel. Thank you so much guys, for watching. See you soon. All the best and bye-bye.